Hi, this is Joel Mayer. There are many ways to represent apples, and today I propose to do it using recycled plastic bottles. You will need two empty half liter plastic soda bottles to form an apple. For this first apple, I chose to use bottles that are already green. As you can see, the sides of this type of bottles are not straight. I will use this feature to ensure that one half of the apple fits inside the other half so that the two halves can be put together to form an apple. Take a first bottle and make a dotted line around at the height where the bottle is becoming narrower. With small sharp scissors, make a hole in the plastic and then cut the bottom of the bottle following the dotted line. Take the second bottle and trace a dotted line around it, but this time make the line where the bottle is still wider. As with the first bottle, cut the bottom. As you can see, taking advantage of the natural shape of the bottle will give you two parts that fit together easily. Cut a leaf and a stem from the leftover part of the bottle. Take the stem and color it brown with a permanent marker. Take the leaf and draw the veins with a green permanent marker. Glue the stem and leaf in place with the glue gun. And here is your first complete apple. You can also make a red apple. They are red bottles, but as I didn't have any, I decided to use transparent bottles. Unlike the previous bottles, the sides of these bottles are straight. I will not be able to use the natural shape of the bottles to fit one into the other. As for the first apple, start by tracing dotted lines around the two bottles and cut them with small scissors. When finished, use some rubbing alcohol to remove any remaining traces of marker from the edges of the bottles. In order to fit one half in the other, you will have to make the rim of one of the bottles narrower by dipping it in very hot, almost boiling water. If you make this project with children, be careful to keep them away from the pot with hot water. Dip the rim of one of the apple halves in hot water. Hot water will make the edge shrink. Do not leave the edge of the bottle in hot water for too long, otherwise the shape of the bottles will change too much. As you can see, I am now able to fit the two halves of the apple together. If you want your apple to be slightly transparent, paint the inside of the bottles with a mix of acrylic varnish and a few drops of red paint. If you want a good solid color, paint the inside directly with red acrylic paint. Let dry completely. Take one of the halves and make a hole in the top with small sharp scissors. The plastic is very hard at this place of the bottle and therefore it requires some patience. Cut a leaf from the remaining part of a bottle. Draw veins with a transparent green marker. Take a piece of brown pipe cleaner to represent the stem and slide it into the small hole you made. Then glue the apple leaf with the glue gun. And now your beautiful red apple is ready. Of course you can do this project with larger bottles too. To print the free document and illustrated instructions, click on the link below the video and don't forget to visit the AnimaPlates website where you will find hundreds of projects and activities.